athlete. In 2015, she was the Pac-12 triple jump champion, so she has so much of that explosive power that you need in the hurdles. And don't ignore Dior Hall, the Southern Cal sophomore, has also been a big part of their team. Carol Smith Gilbert getting a lot of great sprinters hurdlers together in Los Angeles. As you look at the three heats, this really seems to be the most competitive. This is going to be the most difficult heat to advance out of for these athletes. No question. So Amason, the collegiate leader in lane five, Dior Hall of USC in six, and Sasha Wallace, the Oregon senior in lane seven. Someone good is not gonna automatically qualify, and it's gonna have to hope to get through on time. Sasha Wallace not only has great collegiate experience, but she also advanced to the semis of the Olympic trials. So she is a seasoned veteran at performing on the highest stage in the sport. Start for Toby Emerson, Ebony Morrison of Miami, also in good shape. Here's Sasha Wallace, but here's Emerson, and now Dior Hall. It is Emerson, Hall, Wallace. Wallace is going to have to hope that her time is fast enough to advance because she did not finish in the top two. Emerson winning at 12.79. Dior Hall at 13.02. And let's make note of Sasha Wallace's time, 13.10. So I believe that's fast, faster than the third and fourth place finishers in heat number one. Dwight, you mentioned a great start for Amundsen, and it did look great. She ran a pretty much flawless race. Difficult to find much that she did wrong in this race, and she just cruises. She doesn't even really look like she's straining or putting forth much effort at all, just gliding over that final hurdle and all the way through the line. Let's take a look at Sasha Wallace. Tough start for her. Does not get out of the blocks very efficiently or effectively right there, so she lets Dior Hall get in there in contention right there for the second spot. She makes up some ground right there, but would it be enough? Hall comes right back though she responds right here let's take a look at how close they are here wallace trying to fight her off trying to come back but looks like she just missed it of course that second spot right there you can see she's very concerned right now about that spot she knows that she did not have the ideal race did not put down the performance on the track that she needed to at least in this prelim heat so now she's stuck sitting and waiting to see what happens in this third and final heat to see if she will advance and that's never a position that you want to be in is waiting to see if the last heat is slow enough to help push you through all right look for 13 10 as a time in this third heat because that if not run faster than that sasha wallace will get through on a time qualifier